Today, I will be recapping Those Who Lurk Season 1, all episodes. To start things off, we have Those Who Lurk Season 1, Episode 1, The Toxoplasma Virus. At the CDC, we learn they are testing a mutation on humans where it takes over the brain and controls the host. The lead scientist is testing test subject 3's vitals, but something starts to go wrong. He goes to check on the subject, but sees him having a spasm. He can tell this isn't right, and then the test subject jumps up and starts feasting on the head scientist. Outside, a scientist watches in horror as his work partner has been ripped apart by the test subject. The alarm goes off, trapping the remaining scientists in the dangerous building where they will be a five-star meal for an infected. The head scientist has been infected and the others need to get out before they get eaten to death. The remaining scientists forgot their key cards, so there is no hope of getting out and then... A worker is collecting medicine for the pharmacy and stumbles upon the corpses of the scientists ready for a five-star meal. Hello, Dr. Wood. He was bit in the stomach and neck and is racing to get to the boat where he can escape. Chapter 2. The Beach Trip Finley Dixon and his brothers Charlie and Jackson are on their spring break and need a trip to the beach to cool off. They arrive and set up their beach towels and get ready to go into the sea. Jackson docent feel well and is feeling nauseous. He is offered a drink, but that docent help and he has a spasm. Charlie tells Finley about a new virus on the news, and then Jackson becomes pale. Finley had called the police and learns they will be there in 10 minutes. Charlie gets bit and bit again. Finley and Charlie get on a motorcycle and rush to the hospital. Charlie turned and is put down before he can bite anyone. When your mind gets controlled by the virus, the virus is very new though, but soon enough it will become dangerous. Those Who Lurk Season 1, Episode 2, Pilot. It is one month later, and we are introduced to Claude Sanchez and Henry Wheeler. Henry, who is lost whilst scavenging with his girlfriend. Claude knocks out Henry and puts him on his bed. The power goes out, and Claude is held captive by a curious Henry, wondering where he is. Claude tells him everything, and Henry agrees to trust Claude and that they will find Henry's group in the morning. It is foggy outside, and Henry will only give the shotgun back when they find his group. They hear gunshots and think it's Henry's group. A walker sneaks up on Henry, and whilst shooting the infected, he shoots the gas cap on the car. Henry was launched back and his head smashed into a rock. Claude finds Henry unconscious, and his group confronts Claude. In a prison, Finley Dixon kills a walker and clears out a room. We find that Henry is okay and is in a hospital bed. Claude find out a guy with his brother's name. Carter runs the station. Turns out it was Claude's brother, and they share a bonding moment where they meet after the virus broke out. In the morning, they head to a spot they believe has food. They try to do a stunt, and will they make it? Nope, they did not make it, but at least they're food, but it's not safe. There's a walker. Um, Carter kills it and collects the food, but that stunt attracted walkers that will be important later on. We see a pizza delivery man driving around and find out his name is Ben, and he is the guy that goes on the supply runs. He locates the location of the brothers and sends out Henry, Finley, and Kieran to rescue them, which goes successfully, but not what is waiting at home for them. Walkers bust in and the group have to scatter into groups, Kieran and Carter, E, Finley and Claude and Henry on his own. Those Who Lurk, Season 1, Episode 3, No Mercy. Ben finds Avery and they kill some walkers and rescue Claude and Finley. Carter and Kieran find some food, but meet a walker that they think is dead, but bites Carter's foot. Kieran knows they can cut it off, but someone will die today. And like a hero, Kieran sacrifices himself. R.I.P. Kieran. It's a week later, and Claude, Ben, and Finley go on a supply run. They think it's Claude, but it turns out he's okay, and it's a biker who is trapped under a stack of wood. The group lift it and rush back to camp. The group discuss what to do, but it's too late and the man is a walker now. They shoot at it, but this mistake would change them. Ben gets bite in the head and falls into a fire. No, not Ben. He was one of the good guys. R.I.P. Ben. 
It's Ben and Kieran's funeral, and it gives memories of Charlie Dixon and Claudus' uncle. Later on in the day, Claude and Finley are hunting a deer, but hear a scream. They find a man and his friend who is stuck, and a walker with armor is trying to kill them. They eventually kill the walker and save the man, but Avery is having a hard time trusting people due to the recent deaths. I, we find Carter. After he locked himself in the bathroom and the two strangers join our group, they see a truck advertising the CDC, so they make a plan to go there. Those Who Lurk, Season 1, Episode 4, TS-03. We see a monkey escape and a guard for the CDC shoot it due to it contracting the disease. Kaysen tells us about his time at the CDC and that he saw one before it went public. We see a walker running and it bit someone, but we learn it bit Katzen. No, he could have told us how to get there. They make a plan to get to the CDC, but they need a boat. They see it, but goddamn, they need to fix it. Carter, Claude, and Finley go to get parts and stumble across three walkers, but they thought they got them all but a sneaky one. Jump down, A! The fix the boat headed to the CDC, but found out it was going to explode. Luckily, they all got out, but the doctors the Met died in the explosion. Thank you. You shouldn't have to be thankful. Deaths. 43. Runtime, 25 minutes. 